Understanding, I'm lost, more than just geography. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a commonly used English phrase, I'm lost. You might think it's straightforward, but this phrase has more depth than you might expect. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English, understanding these subtle nuances can really enhance your conversational skills. So, let's get started. First up, the most basic and common understanding of, I'm lost. This is used when someone literally does not know their location. It's often said when you can't find your way in a city, a building, or any other place. This usage is pretty straightforward, but it's crucial for everyday communication, especially when you're traveling or in new surroundings. Now, let's explore the figurative side of, I'm lost. This phrase can convey a range of emotions and situations beyond just physical location. Subsection 2.1. Confusion or lack of understanding. When someone says, I'm lost, in a conversation, class, or meeting, they're usually indicating that they are confused or don't understand what's being discussed. It's a way of asking for clarification without directly saying, I don't understand. Subsection 2.2, emotional state. I'm lost can also reflect an emotional state. When used this way, it indicates a feeling of being overwhelmed, uncertain, or lacking direction in life. It's a deeper, more introspective use of the phrase, often shared in personal conversations. Understanding context is crucial. The meaning of, I'm lost, changes depending on the situation, tone of voice, and accompanying body language. As an English learner, paying attention to these cues will help you discern whether someone is literally lost or using the phrase more figuratively. Knowing how to respond to, I'm lost, is just as important as understanding it. If it's used literally, offering directions or assistance is appropriate. For figurative uses, providing support, asking clarifying questions, or simply acknowledging their feelings can be the right approach. I'm lost is a small phrase with big implications in English. Whether it's used literally or figuratively, it conveys a need for help or understanding. I hope this video helps you grasp these nuances and enhances your English communication skills. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into English language learning. See you in the next video.